What's up, War Gamers? Welcome back to World of War Gaming. I'm Isaiah. Today, Rob is here, and we're going to be playing Game 5. This is the final game in our Gaslands campaign. This this the legacy campaign that was in Blaster Volume 3. Um, and this has been a lot of fun. Um, I really hope I get to win one. But more importantly, I'm just in love with this legacy template system that, that Mike Kate cooked up for this. It's it's a lot of fun because when you're used to playing the game, you know, with a set set of templates, and then you start getting things that can do things that they can't normally do, it's just fun and it's exciting, and I'm, I really, really, really enjoy it. Today we're going to be playing the Scavenger Party mission as we loot the Dino Park. So if you haven't hit that like button, subscribe button, or that bell notification, please consider doing those things for me. And let's go tear up the road for this game of Gaslands. Alright, so this is going to be our table for today's mission, which is going to be Scavenger Party. Or in terms of our campaign, we are looting the Dino Park. So our goal is to collect crates. The first time you pick up a crate, you get a special item called the Nano Cloaking Shield, which will let you sacrifice and lose a whole point permanently in order to become untargetable that turn. The attacking vehicle can then select another target if they choose. The game will end until end when half the crates are collected or round three. Uh, the amount of crates is D6 plus six and I rolled a one for the number so we have seven crates in the track we're about to roll to place some deployment points um, we didn't have any clues to unlock from the last scenario so that means we're ready to just start playing and there's not enough of a point disparity between our teams to trigger the handicap clause also these are our goo pools the first time you go through one of those you get marked as having goo on you they are treacherous terrain so automatic two hazards when you enter off. four spawn point placement i got a four six. rob got a six all right so rob placed his spawn point here mine is here rob has the pole position so we'll go to gear phase one round one It's gonna make a medium to start us off. Ooh, that's a bunch of hot garbage. That's not great. I will push it real good. All right, so yeah, so he's gonna keep the shift, roll the rest. Yeah. Better. And I'll get this free shift too. Um, so I'm gonna shift up, cancel the hazard from the shift. Um, I will get rid of the hazard I got from pushing it. And then I will keep the slide keeping my one hazard. Ending right. right there, picking up the crate Bonk. and getting his nanotech thing. Right. Activation is going to be Dune Daddy, who's going to go a medium. Pull some handling. Handling four. Um, we're going to push it. Take a hazard. Much better. That's better. Free shift for the maneuver. So we'll cancel the hazard. Shift up, cancel the hazard from shifting, and bank a shift with sat now, keeping one hazard on. So ending my move right here and being just, just barely out of double to be able to shoot at this one. I'm gonna make a gentle with the mission. Handling two. Uh, uh, I guess I'll push it. Much better. Um, I'll can I'll shift up. Cancel hazard from shifting up, and I'll have one hazard after. Bring me to Rick, who's going to be going a medium towards Mad that. Daddy crate. handling three. Um, I'm okay with that. I'm going to shift up, cancel the hazard from shifting, net right one there, and then I'm going to deploy an RC right. RC car coming out here, and that is the only. He's the only thing left to go, so we're going to go ahead and activate him. He's going to move medium right. straight there. And we will go to gear phase two. I have the pole and I'm going to make a gentle, I believe. So I'm not gonna activate Dune Daddy. I'm gonna go ahead and activate the RC car. So it's gonna go, it's medium. And then shoot its handgun. It's tiny gun. Hits. Uh, gear two. Yep. Looking for sixes. 
Nope. One fire bat going to activate and do a gentle. And I will roll in four on the fire bat. Bloop. Uh. That is. Well. Yeah, that, that's pushable. That that's is for a, sure pushable. That is a push if I've ever seen one. That is the equally same awful. Roll. Okay. So that's going to be four hazards. Four, five, five, five total. total so far. But you only resolve one slide, one spin. Like you only get one slide result, one spin result. So yeah, you would still get the, still four hazards. Yeah, you would still get the hazards from them, but you wouldn't resolve multiple spins or multiple so after slides. After all of that, um, Firebat would have wiped out. However, he has an... Ab um, sorry, that we're in two. I get a free shift. I will use that shift to... If you shift up, you're gonna take a hazard and wipe out. Yeah. And you can't remove the hazards that were. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll remove the one hazard I had from the. Uh, Previously. The. Uh, the reroll thingy. Okay. Leaving you with Slide just the four from the spins yeah. and slots. Yeah. So now I only have four, and I'm stuck at two. Okay. <laughs> so you're gonna go to here. Do you want to use any of the spin? Um, I think that I. I mean, it's zero to ninety from where you are right now. Oh, uh, okay. So I can't. Okay, so I'd have to go this way. Yeah. Then I will. Okay. Right, so yeah, I didn't finish the same. What he did here is he had two hazards on him, or he had one. Started with one, one got one for pushing it, yep. got four from all the things, which was six. So he used the free shift to cancel the hazard. He's stuck in second gear. He used okay. cover me his one of his perks to pitch the other hazard onto the bishop yep. so that he would not wipe out. So he's currently sitting at four hazards. He's got yep. The machine gun is on a turret, yep. so it's going to shoot at the RC6. Uh, a hit crit and a crit. Hit. So three. Yep. I always count as being in third gear as an RC car. Yep. I block one of them, which is not enough because he has one car hole. Gets wrecked. It force moves straight forward and then takes the damage or then automatically fails the explosion test. So it'll blow up for medium. Which will hit fire. just fire back. 4d6. So. Uh, crit and a hit. Three. Yep. Looking for sixes. Uh, Box one. Take two. Out of his like a million hull points that yeah. he's got, like 14, what's he got? 14, 15 hull points? Yeah, it's, it's near maximum on the card. He got four left. Freaking tank. Freaking now tank. I am going to activate Dune Daddy and I'm just going to go immediately. Rolls handling dice here. Um, pretty that's good. pretty good. I'll shift up. Free shift. Oh, I have a free shift. Correct. I'll shift up, cancel the hazard from shifting, cancel the slide completely, and then bank a shift. Finishing my movement there, and now I am within a double to shoot my rockets at this fellow, because my rockets are on a turret. Turret, he'd be out of range. He's not in my arc for the combat laser, but rockets are on. Three ammos. Gotcha. One of them burned. 66. Ooh, that's five hits. Yep. That's pretty good. I'll block one of them. Takes so. four. Bishop gonna make a turn. All right. Um, I'll take it. Uh, I'll shift up, gain a hazard, gain another hazard. Because he can have like eight hazards, right? Yeah. Yeah, he can have a bunch. He's gotten that perk a couple of times from his mutations where he can have yeah. extra hazards before he starts. Being able to activate it. Actually wipe right it there, out. Picking up the crate and picking up his nano cloak. Next will be me with Rick, who is going to go... A gentle, I think. Let me look at my template. No. I'm going to use my Franken template that I made. So we're going to... I'm going to definitely pick that up. Oh, this is so perfect! Look at how good that lines me up. So we're gonna roll some three. Um, we're gonna. Uh, do you get a free shift out of I don't get a free shift out of this in second gear, um, but I've got two shifts banked with sat nav. So I think what I do here is push it and take a hazard, and then go from there. Okay, so that's a little bit better. So shift up. Cancel the hazard from shifting. Use one of my bank shifts from sat nav to cancel Ending that. There. This is the end of gear phase two. 
going to gear phase three, where Rob will have the pole. I'm going to use his Franken template as well. We that laid down a little bit wrong, so he's going to be going this way. Get a free shift for it, though, for being in second gear. I'll take it. Shift up, cancel the hazard from shifting up, get a hazard from spinning. Bishop cool. has the handbrake artist perk, which means he can face any direction in a full 360 that he wants from a spin result. And a cow truck coming out behind. Daddy going to be making a gentle to just lay some fire down Four. on that. Belt. Um, we'll push it and re-roll these. A little bit better. I don't get a free one here, but I do have one bank from SatNav. So we're going to cancel that slide. We're going to shift up. We're going to cancel the hazard from shift. Zooming on up to right here, where we're going to lay a machine gun, a combat laser, and some rockets. 3D6 for the combat laser. That's two hits. Gear four. Goes through. Okay. 2d6 for the regular machine gun. No hits. And 6d6 for some more rockets. Um, Two hits. Dodge roll. I'll dodge one. Take one. Me again. Yep. Because he doesn't have anything else to activate. So I'm going to activate Rick, who's going to go gentle. Yes, he's going to go gentle this way into the goo pit as well as the handling three. That's pretty good. So we're going to shift up, cancel a hazard, cancel one of my existing hazards, and then take two hazards for going through the goo. Pick up a crate. And so here I get to roll to see what's inside A. Three. I pick up a napalm dropper with one ammo. To gear phase four of round one, where I will have the pole. I am going to activate Rick first, and I'm going to make a some kind of turning motion going that way. We'll make a gentle going this way. Oh. Shift, spin, slide. Um, Do it. You know you want to. Shh, 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 shh. Don't tell me my business. Um, I'm going to shift up, take a hazard. I'm going to use one of my sat nav shifts to cancel the slide, and I'm going to keep the taking spin. me to five hazards, but putting me in a good position to run up on that objective. Bishop. Going a medium towards the crate. Two handling dice for it. Shift slide. Um, I'll push it. Okay. Well, that's better. <laughs> Not really. Um, yeah, we're fine. It's fine. Um, I think the shift would have given you, the slide would have given you a better p final position. Yeah, but I don't want a corrosion. Oh, fair. Because there's corrosion shenanigans. There are. And I, I don't want those. Um. Oh, yeah, my free shift. Yep, for medium. So I am going to, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to shift up, cancel the hazard. Five. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, I figured it out. Uh, so I'm going to gain one hazard from rerolling. I'm going to shift up, cancel the hazard, gain a hazard. That will put me at seven. I can take eight, so I'm good for right now. Great. Okay. The bishop will find a nitro booster with one ammo, which will bring us to Dune Daddy. Hold on. I gotta lay count traps on it. Okay. Duh. And I, are you outside of the range of me shooting with my chin? Um, I don't know. Let's see. Yeah. So we're gonna make a veer to try to get around this couch. But I will take a hazard off gate for veering in fourth gear. Um, that's a pretty good that's roll. Not bad. I'll I'll take that. So we'll shift up to fifth. Cancel the hazard from shifting. Cancel the hazard. Wheel. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot everything at him again and see what happens. Ooh, four hits. Pretty good. 
Uh, uh, gear five. Were you able to shift up? Yeah. Okay. I'll dodge one, take so three. Take three, and then machine gun. Uh, two hits. Uh, dodge one. Takes one. And then my last rocket. Three. Three. Uh, I believe that blows him up. Okay. We were, we were looking at the damage on the wrong vehicles, but it's all good. So that'll be, he will have two health left on the bishop. It'll bring us to the end of gear phase four, going to gear phase five, round one, where Rob will get the pole. Use the nitro booster. He's already got more than five hazards, so that part of it won't affect him. And then for my movement, I'm gonna do a long straight to scarp. To just scarp her away, okay? Uh, All right. E on five, I yep. will activate Rick, who will go along. I don't need to roll anything because as soon as I pick that up, I have more than half. Yep. The crates. So good game, Rob. I managed. I managed to win a game at the very end of the campaign. I looted the drag, the Dino Park better. I'm o. So this is a ended up being kind of a short game, but that's okay. It works out that way sometimes. Um, however, because in the in the issue of Blaster that all of this stuff is listed in, it says you know it's like a short thing. And it says stop reading, and I've always stopped reading. So we got to the last mission, and lo and behold, on the on the last page of that, it mentions that there will be five more missions in this campaign, or five more scenarios in this campaign, in the next issue of Blaster Volume Four. Now I have no idea when that comes out, but rest assured, I will be getting it when it does. Hold on, Rob wants me to show you the two of these things with guns for arms and lasers on its back. Beautiful. Yeah, we want we want so we're hoping that now look at this one. We're hoping that these other <laughs> missions these other missions are gonna have some more stuff with the dino park and everything else. But more importantly, we're excited because we're gonna keep using these cars. Yeah. And we're just gonna keep <laughs> modifying templates. Like it's so there may not be a whole lot of gas lands on the channel until I can get that in my hands. We'll probably throw in a, a bat rep here and there, but we're gonna play probably some other games for a little bit until that that next issue of Blaster comes out. And it may already be out, and I'm just behind the times. I'll have to look into that later this afternoon. But either way, so we're going to get into, into some post-game stuff real quick. So if a vehicle was holding a crate at the end of the game, it permanently receives the nano cloaking device upgrade and increases its vehicle rating by or five. Dune Daddy, his mutation was to get a weapon that costs two cans or less and an extra crew member. He is going to take the... Mind Dropper and Rick, his mutation was to ignore one hazard, so he can go up to seven hazards now. All right, so Bishop is going to take a Wrecking Ball. His mutation was a weapon that costs two and a crew, so he'll take a Wrecking Ball. Firebat got a weapon that costs six and a crew, and you're taking the minigun, mini gun, which is going to go on a front part. Template upgrade, Rob rolled because he has lower corrosion than I do at this point. He got a six, so we get to pick anything we want and put a new slide point on it. I'm going to put my a slide, new slide point on my medium. I'm going to put it right here on the long side at the very end. That way, if I roll a slide result, I come out and I'm still facing the correct direction and it could create for some shenanigans <laughs> later <laughs> rob continue with this nonsense with this oh hairpin and moving the slide point uh, to the very end of the hairpin are you sure you don't want to put it on the end like this no nope you sure because you hairpin and slide and then you're facing now a whole nope. new direction this is the one okay that, that's the one so that's we'll one. we'll see how that pans out whenever the uh oh. next issue of blaster gets here i just looked at their facebook page as of february it was it was very proof and stuff so um until next time thanks so much for stopping by hanging out while we rolled some dice for gaslands even if it was a short game today i appreciate you being here sticking around for it i hope you have an amazing rest of your day and as always my friends may the dice be ever in your favor and as always, I'd like to say a big, huge, from the bottom of my heart, thank you to our patrons who support us and pledge to us over on Patreon. You guys are the absolute best. If 
you enjoyed the content you saw here today and that's something that you would like to consider doing to help out the channel go over there check out the link in the description check out the patreon there's a lot of cool stuff over there including access to our discord server talk to me hang out with me talk about our work what we got going on in the hobby um some shout outs all kinds of cool stuff check it out if that's something that you think you would be into and regardless of whether or not you do that i want you to know that i am incredibly grateful that you decided to stop by and spend part of your day with me today rolling dice and pushing toy soldiers around i hope you have an amazing rest of your day and as always may the dice be ever in your favor